Want to know more about Hedgehog's Hollow and how we went from turf garden to hedgehog paradise? Stay tuned as I walk you through some of the things we did in creating the land at the bottom of the garden. Hello everyone and welcome to Hedgehog's Hollow. My name is Mike and Hedgehog's Hollow is the land at the bottom of my garden. In order to understand where we are now with Hedgehog's Hollow, I want to take you back to the very beginning. Back seven years to when the garden was just a turf patch with a few trees buried straight into the ground. Unfortunately, the ground is predominantly clay based and these trees and shrubs soon suffered both from a lack of nutrients as well as literally being drowned through waterlogged soil. So the solution was to build a perimeter of raised beds around the entire garden. And we raised the garden, the flower beds, about 18 inches. This required a lot of soil to be brought in, but it enabled us to grow flowers and plants directly into new soil rather than into the clay. The entire process did take a couple of seasons and a couple of years to complete, both bringing in the soil and planting it, putting in the edging, as well as completing the planting by adding new plants and shrubs. So here through the wonders of Google, you can see how we've ended with a perimeter made up of the raised beds and the shrubs that have now completely grown up and matured, creating a canopy of around about a meter and a half to two meters around the entire back garden. Even so, it was only a full five years later that the first hedgehogs arrived in Hedgehog's Hollow. They seemed to be particularly attracted to the back edge of the garden, where the shrubs had matured and created a canopy of leaves and foliage, as well as providing a steady supply of material for nest building. The garden was quite untidy at this point as it was difficult to clamber through the growth to keep it tidy and the hedgehogs enjoyed being able to hunt for food and forage for bedding material within this untidiness. With our first hedgehog arrival in Hedgehog's Hollow we built our very first hedgehog house and placed it at the back of the garden under some of the larger shrubs. Beyond what material was available naturally I added some store-bought hay to the area around the house, as well as filling it slightly when I built it. The hay proved to be a big hit with that first hedgehog, and it set about continuing to fill the house with additional hay material. Fast forward to the present day. We've been entertaining hedgehogs for the last 18 months or so within Hedgehog's Hollow. The garden is now fully matured and we are up to three hedgehog houses within Hedgehog's Hollow. We've seen more than 20 unique different individual hedgehogs within the garden and we've been very fortunate to have two hoglets born in one of our houses and hibernate through the winter. What methods have you used to attract hedgehogs to your garden? Do you have a hedgehog house? Please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your experiences with hedgehogs. If you're interested in following the adventures of the residents of Hedgehog's Hollow, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll follow the lives of the visitors. Until next time, goodbye from me, Mike, and from Hedgehog's Hollow, the land at the bottom of the garden.